and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. Today we are going to look at a blockchain app store project called AppCoins. Um, it's going to be an interesting experiment. I don't know if it will work or not. Probably it being exper experiment, it won't. Um, but anyway, let, let's go for it. So um, AppCoins is a project out of uh, this Portuguese app store called Aptoid. So Aptoid's been going for a number of years, five years or so. It is a um, an Android market. Um, it's kind of like a secondary Android market. We could look at it, look at it as, and it is a market that um, is um, it's got a pretty big scale, like two hundred million users. But, but generally in the, in the developing world, obviously in China, um, you can't have Google Play because the Chinese government don't allow Google Play to operate. So there's lots of different um, Android app stores there. Uh, but not just China. There's kind of Southeast Asia um, ha um, has partners. Aptoid has partners in the Philippines. Uh, Vietnam and um, also uh, in Latin America as well. So, so Brazil is quite a big market for it, and that's partly because Google Play requires, um, you know, kind of its users to have kind of access to banks. So you need a credit card or a debit card, really. Um, there's other billing methods you can use. You can use kind of prepaid um, kind of cards, prepaid debit cards, and scratch cards, that kind of stuff. But the billing becomes very, very complicated for developers to support. So that's kind of quite hard to do. So, um, Aptoid, the guys behind Aptoid, you know, we're kind of like, um, we've got this big, we've got this big kind of app store where we do um, Android apps and games, um, but monetization is a problem, so how can we solve that? And then the blockchain came along, so they're trying to do something with the blockchain, which is called AppCoins, although it's much wider than Aptoid. So Aptoid is, is kind of the first uh, app store to be using it, but there's other companies who are looking to use it as well. So Mobile Streams and, and, and Cherry Mobile and other people. Um, so Aptoid is, it, it, as, as a store, is also used by OEMs. It's embedded in... Um, Kind of um, kind of Android phones in TVs, Android TVs, set top boxes, that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a, a white label um, uh, app store. So anyway, so typical app store, you know, stuff up here, editor's choice kind of stuff. You know, a few games that we know. There we go, Brave, Front Brave Frontiers, pretty big game from China, Dragon Fighter. Uh, what else we got? Um, yeah, some games we don't know. Some, some, some that we do. Where's my avocado? That's good. <laughs> um, so down here are the highlighted ones, the Alchemist um, apps as well. You know, kind of the usual kind of stuff you would expect to see. Oh, World Chef up there from Social Point. So people like Social Point and, and Gameloft have their own channels in here. So, so you know, it is a kind of um, play as like a secondary distribution market. So anyway, um, what we're looking at here is these app coins. So we have this um, section in Aptoid. And I have to say, you can just download the Aptoid App Store, if you want to, in the West, um, you have to download the APK from their website, and it's obviously it's a um, you can't do it through Google Play because Google Play doesn't allow other app stores to be distributed through Google Play, so you have to go through the whole un, um, unknown sources um, security kind of thing. But you can do it; it's not a problem, which is how I got this. Um, so we see these games here: how to spend your app coins. So all these games um, are supporting this this app coins um, project. It's a app coins itself in terms of um, app coins, the token. It's an ERC twenty token uh, running on Ethereum. So they did an ICO the end of 2017, raised $18 million. Um, so um, let's go and look at some of these games. Let's show you how this works. If I can find, now what game am I looking for? It's probably disappeared. Okay, World, Word Jungle. So the game doesn't really matter so much, but here's one I've already downloaded. So let's open it and see uh, what happens. So here we go, Word Jungle. I'm not going to play it, but what we're going to do. So the whole point of, of App Coins is that it kind of um, acts as a as a kind of um, you know like like all blockchain projects, it acts as a uh, underlying economy to the activity that happens on that system. So it's a way of kind of kind of combining um, usage and monetization and financial value and also oh, excuse me and also other value. So let's go here and try and do the experiment. So here's the shop. Um, let's try and do. Let's try and remove ads. So remove ads. It says here is uh, one ninety nine dollars. Aha! So, but this comes up now because this game is supporting uh, the the app coins, the APPC token. So instead of paying um, one dollar ninety nine cents into the US dollars, I can pay eighteen um, app coins to do that. So um, obviously, app coins uh, you can buy it as a as an ERC twenty token on on exchanges um, if you so if you want to do that. Um, uh, and we can see here it's giving me a, a, a euro price as well. Uh, you can see at the bottom, I've also there is a, a an a PPC wallet, so you can if you wanted to 
Um, you could download the wallet. We'll have a quick look at that. Um, and then you could, I mean, I don't think anyone would because these are people who are, these are like unbanked audience. So they're not going to go into Coinbase and buy Ether and then go into a to an exchange and then buy APVC. Um, but you, if you wanted to, you could do that. Um, so, so it is a standard blockchain coin. And so you, if, if I had 18 APPC in my, in my wallet, I could just go and buy it kind of that way. But um, that's obviously for people who are into blockchain stuff. Um, so you can just see the wallet um, address at the bottom. Um, so we could go to going and buy. And this, this is an experiment to see whether it works or not. So at the moment, it's just firing up a credit card um, thing, which is obviously doesn't make any sense for anyone in um, kind of China or the Philippines or, or Brazil um, or the people who would use um, Aptoid because they don't have access to credit cards. That's the whole issue of using a blockchain um, project is that they um, they can basically earn these coins by doing things in the App Store. So developers can pay them effectively, pay the, pay the UA marketing money to them directly to play these games or download these games. And then over time, users can build up um, App Coin, their App Coin um, balance. They can spend it in in one game, they can spend it across lots of games. So it becomes like an in-game kind of currency, which um, really solves the problem of, of what we call like the unbanked audience. So people who don't have access to bank accounts, um, they can, they can it would take them a long time, you know, they have to grind out that kind of stuff, but they can download games, they can play games. Um, they can basically do the stuff that they're probably already doing in terms of they're playing a lot of mobile games and they can start to earn a bit of, uh, a bit of this kind of token that then they can use um, to buy things in the game, buy, Current uh, buy items or, or or buy gems or do things like removing ads if they want to, and the, at this point you're creating kind of a a um, you know a symbiotic a a, a self um, perpetuating economy where the users are doing the things that they do they're using the products they're consuming the products they're reacting to what advertisers are offering them and they're they're earning tokens and they're spending the tokens in the games so then the game developers who in this case are the advertisers then have more um earning more money than they can give more they give more money in terms of their marketing campaigns and then people earn more money so so that's kind of the, the idea of how it's going to work so early stage at the moment i'm going to do this credit card thing and to see if it works because so we're going to do this experiment and see if we can see if we can track this transaction through the um through the blockchain but um at this point, I'll just oh, at this point I'll just stop um, this video, and then we'll go and do another video um, in a in a minute or so. Okay, so I made that transaction. It went through, uh, I think. So this is looking at the wallet app. So this is the APPC wallet app. Um, so this is a separate app. You can download this actually from Google Play because it's just like a, a normal crypto wallet. Um, so we can see here, um, I've not got any A APPC in the wallet. Um, although the wallet accepted my um, transaction. So we can see here, um, this is the wallet address, this big long number, not a typical Ethereum wallet address. And we can see here, um, I spent 18 APPC and it was a success. So that's the transaction. Um, so uh, 18 I spent, that's the wallet address, status is success in, in that purchase. Um, that, that money was sent to um, this other wallet address pad by Ethereum on the Ethereum um, blockchain. So we can go into the wallet and um, if we look here, I mean, it's an Ethereum wallet, Ethereum APPC, you can add other tokens if you want to. They're pretty, a pretty standard wallet. Um, it's giving me a bit of mar a bit of marketing here. <laughs> it's telling me some other games I can go to. But let's go and have a look and uh, there's something other, other cool thing we can do here, which is actually go and track that transaction through the blockchain. So um, I'm gonna look at doobie doobie doo, this one here. So this here is the APPC Explorer. You can see the um, the URL at the top, um, a, a app, appcexplorer.io. So this is, um, you know, with all blockchains, uh, or pretty much all decent blockchains that have this kind of Explorer um, uh, uh, website, kind of GUI, where you can see what's going on on that, on that uh, blockchain. The whole point of blockchains is, um, to, to lesser and greater extents, they're transparent in terms of what's going through. So we can see here, um, you know, it's very early stages for the for the AppCoin uh, project. Um, so we can see over the last 30 days or last month, there's been 358 in-app purchases. Um, this proof of attention thing it mentions there is how they prove how they're going to prove um, uh, whether users are spending time in. The, in the games on the apps that their um, the advertisers want them to. So obviously the, the point of um, if you're gonna 
if you're going to um, be paid to uh, download and play a game, they need to be able to prove you, you, that you can do that. So they're doing some um, technology testing in terms of this proof of attention thing. So that's all that is. But anyway, we can see here what's going on um, throughout the, the months. And we can see here, that's wallet. Let's look at that. So here we go. So this is these are all the transactions that have happened on the A on, on, on the AppCoin uh, blockchain over the last... What are we on now? So that's the last day. We can see this is going to keep going, isn't it? But um, so we can see this one here. There we go. That's the one that I did. Um, so we can see here that is the uh, Word Jungle. That's the game I was playing. Um, so the block actually may not have cleared yet. Um, oh, but we can see here it's a um, an off-chain in-app purchase. Um, I guess it's off-chain because it was a credit card thing. We can see the sender. So the sender was that's my um, oh, that's my wallet address. There, I think. And actually, we can see. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. So we can. So it's actually showing. Um, it's saying there's no app coin value. That tends to show that. Um, because actually, the balance in my wallet was zero. So I guess that's why it's showing that. Um, but this is the transaction. So the transaction ID and the receiver receiver ID um, should correlate with what we were just looking at in terms of the wallet so should we just check that so um, 0xd979 um, so where are we uh, here we are 0 um, so uh, da, da, da. so we need to look at my one don't we um, this is got more complicated now than I thought it was going to be um, yeah so 0xd979 that's my wallet and then it's going to zero x zero four nine four eight, so that was where it was going to. That was who I was paying it to. Oh yeah, and there we go. So we can see. So we can actually. So the experiment kind of worked a bit, a bit kind of clunky in terms of um, looking at all these different windows, but we can see that um, I had that game from the Aptoid website. I bought, uh, did an in-app purchase, uh, admittedly using a credit card. Which um, normally I wouldn't do in or in, in a few months' time I wouldn't do, but then we can track that transaction through the Ethereum blockchain and see that it left my wallet. Um, so that basically that credit card transaction was was pumped through my wallet because the the Aptoid uh, App Store was connected to the wallet app, um, separate wallet app that I did, and then we can see who the receipt was. And eighteen um, App Coins were was the price. So there we go. So that's kind of actually quite a good experiment. Um, as I say, uh, AppCoins is um, early stage at the moment. Um, it's kind of sort, sort of launched on AppToid, um, but they've got, they're doing a lot of work um, to kind of do this stuff and make it kind of more seamless. Um, so definitely probably worth doing a video in a couple of months time when it's a bit more, um, a bit more seamless. And actually you can, when you can start to earn the AppCoins in, uh, in apps, then, then that'll make it a lot more interesting. But, um, but it, it works, and that's kind of the point of blockchain. It's kind of <laughs> clunky and geeky, but that's kind of what we like about blockchain. Um, so good job from the AppCoins people who are, who are uh, you know, the first to do a, a an app store based on the blockchain. Obviously, the whole issue for all these kind of things is can you get scale? Can you get people to um, use the product? The nice thing about Aptoid um, is it already has 200 million users, so you would kind of think if they set it up right, then they can kind of... Um, even if they get obviously one percent of that um, audience to start using it, then that's two million people. So that would make them by far and away the biggest consumer blockchain um, project <laughs> in the world if they manage to do that. So um, good luck to them. Uh, thanks for watching the video. So blockchain gaming world is all about the world of blockchain games. Um, surprising that, isn't it? Um, so if you're the kind of thing you like, don't forget to subscribe. So we play blockchain games, give comment on them. We try and um, delve into what's going on in some what we call blockchain game project as well, like AppCoins. So um, thanks for watching this video and um, hope to see you again soon.